So this is the recap from the third week of our Mike and Laura Baltimore Workshop Recap Series. Uh, I'm Brian. I'm Tara. So we started off reviewing something that we did earlier, which was inside turns with a lot of movement on five and six. And just to review, that looks like this. It goes one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you can see I'm moving backwards five and six. So that's what we went from that. We took that move and turned it into a six count circle, which is a very common move, uh, but it's useful to think about the movement aspect of it. And what we want from that is this. We want one, two, three, and four, five, and six, where we really move backwards on the five and six, just like we had before. When we talked about that, we talked a lot about wanting a lot of momentum and constant momentum through this move. So we'll show it just one more time. It is one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Okay? Uh, we did that. The next thing that we did was a send out, which is also a very common move, but we wanted to really break it down and think about it at a deeper level. So send out looks like this. It goes 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, and 6. So the important thing about the send out is that it can't come from nowhere. Uh, in the class we did with the basic first here, I'm just doing jockeying, where we start off jockeying just to the left, and then we go to the right. And then I let that right movement continue into the follow, just going backwards. And we sort of like stretch out like a rubber band, okay? So that's really important that comes from that, and I just allow the follow to go out. When we allow the follow to go out, all I have to do is just step in place. I anchor myself, and that's really important. I'm really just stepping underneath myself here, okay? We stretch out like a rubber band, and then we just let go of our rubber band, and we move to open position like this. So I'll just do it again without all of the pauses, so we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's what we want from our send down. We put these two moves together and did them a lot, so a six count circle and then a send down, using that backwards 5 and 6 of the circle to go directly into the send out where we let the follows go out and anchor the leads, okay? So together they look like this, a 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, and 6, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, and 6, to do this, 3, and 4, 5, and 6, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, and 6. We did that a lot, talking a lot about momentum, linearity, uh, that idea of just leads doing as little work as possible, follows continuing momentum, all of that stuff. That was most of the class. The last thing that we talked about, and we didn't have enough time to really get into this, was we talked about some variations, some footwork variations. So for the leads, they have the stomp off variation that looks like this. We go one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and one, three, four, five, and six. Again, two, three, and four, five, and six, and one, three, four, five, and six. Footwork wise, all I'm doing is it's um, and one, so it's five, six, seven, eight, and one, right, left, right, and right. Okay, and slightly different footwork, but you just do what makes it work. Follows also have a variation, um, and if we just do the follow variation, Tara will do it, and it looks like this. It goes one, two, three, and four, five, and six, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, one, two, Two, three, and four, five, and six. One, and two, three, and four, five, and six. So what are you doing for that? So when I'm stepping out, I'm cross-stepping and crossing on and five. And five, I'm resting on six, and then I'm taking four quick steps on one and two of the next six count. So put together, if I was just doing my footwork in place, it would be one, two, three, and four, and five and seven and, and one and two, I'm sorry. And so we put those together, and if we, everybody does all of their variations, it looks like this. It goes five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and one. Three, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and one. Three, four, five, and six. And that was all we did. Uh, thank you. That was week three of our series. I'm Brian. Ta. And we'll have one more week. Hope to see you there.